Hi everyone, today I wanted to go over our top five pickups of the year for 2022, uh, kind of celebrate the new year. I'm picking these not just based on their beauty, but what I think that they're going to do for me for the future. So without further ado, here's our top five pickups of 2022. At number five, we've got our Super OD Yellow Belly Possible Het Clown. I got her from Kittinger Reptiles at the most recent Tinley show. And she's actually just starting to go into shed, I think it is, or come out of shed. And that's actually kind of funny that I mentioned that because I'll be sending that shed in to be tested for Het Clown. If she ends up being Het Clown, she's incredibly powerful. But even without the Het Clown, what this represents for me is the eventual entry into getting freeways. Super OD means that everything she breeds will have OD in it. So that means that every single time I did hit a freeway, it would be an OD freeway. I have not picked up a male that will eventually breed to her, but I bought her roughly this size. I mean, I got picked her up in October and she was already this big. So this was a really big steal. I am very, very happy to have this absolutely stunning girl. She has this nice flaming into these really deep, dark blacks. The oranges that kind of just melt into the almost like a mahogany type color. It's very granulated. I really love the contrast and I say this in so many videos, but I love contrast. Just these really deep, dark jet blacks that kind of melt into the brown slightly right there and then flames of white very quickly into the blacks. You get the same kind of effect here of flaming into the oranges where it's more of like a fiery orange and then just becomes a more crisp like toasted marshmallow type of look right there. I really like the snake just in and of itself but the potentiality for the future is why I really had to get this and I can't believe it took me as long as it did to make my decision to pick up this snake. I actually walked away from the table to go think about it. Thankfully, she was still there when I returned and this was an incredible pickup. At number four would be my Black Pastel Banana Het Clown Girl. I got this girl from Hulker's Herps in spring tinley so march what i really like about black pastel and banana is it just really augments the lavenders that already exist in the banana and it just creates a much more dark snake as they age they don't get the same look of a normal banana as well where it's going to turn into almost like a two-tone yellow maybe a splash of some orangish here we'll actually put a clip of my first ball python gwen here for comparison he is a full-grown adult at this point so this is what he's going to look like and this is what you should expect your banana ball pythons to look like but a black pastel banana is going to hold these colors a little bit better especially the dark colors so you're going to have more contrast there i'm noticing these oranges the splashy oranges that they get when they're younger for bananas staying a little bit longer i don't know if that's the case with the adults because i've noticed it fading anyways but it's still a very stunning snake but what i really like about her is just this chaotic fiery pattern just right here alone it just looks like we're looking at some sort of like lava world from mario or something you've got kind of a more base yellow on the stomach then you've got the flaming fireballs coming out all along a very dark kind of background and that contrasts these nice colors so i think they hold their colors quite a bit better and i haven't even gotten to talking about the clown portion of this so obviously she is not a visual clown but she holds the gene het clown and that is of course the objective she's going to be grown out and she's going to be put to a visual clown and i'm going to be going for black pastel banana clowns with quite a bit of other stuff in them maybe an inchy clown i'll be putting her to but honestly right now i'm probably gearing towards putting her towards my other snake which will be on this list a little bit later being a female banana we did a full video on the banana morph she's going to be able to produce for me males and females which is also a really big boost for me as you might know the male bananas typically only produce male bananas unless they are the female makers which if you want to hear all about that you can watch our video on that one right here long and short of it is banana and coral glow are incredibly unique and the gene itself attaches itself to the sex chromosome so it can be a little bit more difficult and tricky to get what you want in certain situations at number three would be a girl I got pretty early in the year as a full-sized breeder. I actually made a full video of revealing her as a pickup. She's obviously blue-eyed leucistic. Now I brought her whole tub out because she's breeding for me and I didn't even almost want to take her out but just you know if she's building eggs and such like that I don't want to disturb that process. What's so special about her other than being a breeder sized blue-eyed leucistic? Well there's a lot that's hidden here that doesn't tell the full story. This girl here is a lesser Butter, spider, 
visual hypo, but not so visual. She's a visual, not visual. I picked her up as a proven breeder from someone that I trust. I'm trying to prove out a male right now, which would also technically prove her out. So kind of double proving it out, but I don't have a reason to not trust the person. I don't notice any spider wobble to her in any way, shape or form. And that's not why I got her. Honestly, I wish I could have had her without it. But she herself being the hypo and being a lesser butter to me presented a pretty strong opportunity for how I came across getting her in a trade. But she will always pass on one copy of either lesser or butter and she will always pass on the het hypo but she's really antsy and i don't want to bother her anymore but she herself is really pretty just wanted to remark on her she is a blue-eyed leucistic all-white snake but she almost has like almost like peachy type color to her and she has this like very faint uninterrupted very light orange stripe going all the way down her i don't know what that's from i don't think that the spider part would do that but I, I have no idea but she does have the more characteristic white head the head is a little bit whiter i noticed and her eyes are very nice blue and usually in blue-eyed leucistics i've noticed they have bigger eyes she has all those hallmarks of it but she's an absolutely gorgeous snake and one of the better pickups i had for the year for sure at number two is our red stripe clown i picked up this girl from exotic designs reptiles at the october tinley show this year so not that long ago and she's already put on a very good amount of size because i got her you know reddit very small hatchling size it is just a red striped clown but to me this represents another step forward into a gene that i've kind of coveted for a long time i really like the the subtle rusty reds that the red stripe brings in when you combine it with other things especially dark morphs in my opinion it creates this this bleeding rustiness that goes down and kind of just melts into the blacks but i'm very excited to have her in my collection somebody actually just mentioned today that she kind of has a little smiley face on her head yeah i can see it kind of there's the little eyes smiley face and at number one would be my ghi spot nose clown 66 percent het hypo i got this guy here from canova at the spring tinley show and i couldn't be more happy i researched and debated between this and a banana spot nose clown female maker and i decided to go this route because i still love the banana route but i can do that with other things but still kind of jump into ghi here and I, i'm very very happy with the decision i made the ghi along with the clown and the spot nose i I think just work perfectly and i think that running the ghi route was definitely the proper way to go especially since i kind of want to get my hand into the darker aspect of the game when it comes to clowns but with this boy next year i'm going to be able to go for batmans with ghi possibly with this boy this year i'm going to be going for lesser bot nose ghi clowns with this boy i'm going to be going for triple hats this year well i'm going to get them so long as she lays eggs because no matter what he's going to pass his clown on and the mom is a pied caramel albino so i will have triple hats um it'd be very very cool if i got a triple hat with ghi spot nose of course but time will tell those eggs aren't even laid yet the red stripe clown i just showed i want to eventually put him to her because again those are some of the ingredients into the pompeys which might be one of my favorite looking snakes out there the black pastel banana hit clown i can make that snake now that i was talking about buying i can make a spot nose banana clown by combining him in a couple years with the black pastel banana clown and on top of that it could have ghi and black pastel has that been done if it has please tell me in the comments uh, i'm not i haven't looked but has a ghi spot nose banana black pastel clown been made before i want to see what that looks like if it hasn't i'm gonna try and find out what that looks like in a couple years he is easily my biggest pickup it is my powerhouse male that i've really wanted i've had good males but nothing that's crazy powerhouse yet and it really changed the way i looked at this so i said this was a top five but i'm again going to give you a little bitty piece of advice that other breeders i have heard say plenty of times don't skimp out on your male Everybody thinks at the female game, get the females, because that's the ones, the ones that take the longest, the most investment. That is true to some extent, but I can breed this one male to multiple females. He can pass his genetic powerhouse on to so many others that can help me get funds to further my plans and further my projects, or he can make them himself. 
what I want. That I just mentioned with those triple hits. I've wanted to get into Clown Pied as well. Because I have Clown, I have Pied. Why not combine them? He can make that possible for me. Don't skip out on your males. Get yourself a super powerhouse male. At least one after you've gotten your females situated. You can wait a year unless you buy breeders and skip ahead. But take the money and invest in something like this. If you want to see the video that I mentioned in this about the banana ball pythons, or if you want to see any of the videos where I feature a lot of these animals often already, you can check those out here and here.